the driving force uh, behind really doing uh, uh, these sessions is what I have noticed uh, over uh, the years uh, that there is really this connect between what the um, uh, people practice uh, uh, in, in terms of their religious uh, obligations like prayer or fasting or uh, pilgrimage but they really don't see the relationship of these forms of worship to their daily life and, and the practice. Um, so uh, I felt that it is really important to um, re revisit these uh, different modes of, uh, of worship and see how they um, um, f form like a blueprint uh, for people to understand their own um, life and how they need to lead and live uh, that, that life. Um, it is interesting that um, it was very early in the message of, uh, of Islam that um, the Quran made it very uh, clear that any type of um, worship, in particular prayer, or take prayer as an example, if it is done for its own sake, it may really need to the displeasure of, uh, of the one that we worship, God. Um, why? Because it will be disconnected from uh, its objective. And uh, Quran said, فَوَيْلٌ لِلْمُصَلِّينَ So, uh, woe to those who pray. The ones who basically are heedless of, of their prayer. So, from the beginning, uh, there was emphasis on making the connection between these forms of worship and what we are supposed to do on our daily life. If prayer, for example, does not really help us to see the value of the human being beside me and uh, offer the minimum help to that, fellow human being, it means that I did not understand really the meaning of the, my prayer. So we can take that example and apply it really to other modes of worship and start reflecting on them. And uh, a reflection means like search for the meaning, and searching for the meaning is innate in us. We always want the answer why. And the same thing, there is nothing wrong about asking, why do we have to pray? Why do we have to fast? Why do we have to, to, to go to Mecca and perform a, a pilgrimage or, or Hajj? Why I have to pay uh, in, in charity and share really with others? Once we start asking that question, okay, then we have to start doing more of an archaeological work, okay, start digging and uh, dissecting these uh, uh, different forms and modes of worship, and then you will find the evidence, then you will find the some of the answers, okay, and the uh, the, um, the door should be kept open 